Adoptive parents are unsung heroes of humanity, going about and beyond basic decency and embracing those who truly need it most. Thanks to these individuals, children who were left behind for whatever reason by their biological parents have a place to call home and someone to call mom or dad. These adoptive parents raise their children as if they themselves gave birth to them, which takes its toll financially. The last thing that people like this need is the judgment of others when they are trying to buy basic goods for their kids. One Idaho woman who saw this unfold had the perfect response. While at the checkout at Walmart, Lindsay overheard a well-dressed couple in line commenting on a mother struggling to get five children under control in front of her. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. She had always tried to do the right thing, so she was bothered that people would be so heartless. When she realized what these nasty people were saying about the woman who happened to be using food stamps for her purchase, Lindsay decided to teach them a lesson they would never forget. Walmart isn't known for being a high-class establishment, and they cater to people from all walks of life. Lindsay really served it to the disrespectful couple in a perfect manner, but none of us would know about it if she hadn't gone public with the story and posted it on Facebook. Warning, it began. Insensitive people at the Walmart ran ahead. Little did she know that venting in a public post would viral with hundreds of thousands of responses and shares. Even though this was back in autumn of 2013, the story is still making waves because of Lindsay's immaculate response. As Lindsay described it, she had just popped into the nearby Walmart to get a couple things when it happened. She was with her own fussy toddler standing in line. She noticed another mother trying to sort through clothing while getting a handle on her five children. They were a mix of Caucasian and Hispanic. Yet, this wasn't something she had even noticed until the people behind her started talking. Indeed, the fact that this was brought to her attention abruptly by such nasty individuals clearly infuriated Lindsay even more. She had enough to deal with in handling her own toddler. There isn't too much time to notice the other woman and her children. But what she was overhearing drew her attention to her mother. The remarks were so insensitive and hurtful that Lindsay's heart dropped the second she realized they were talking about the struggling mother ahead in the line. Lindsay said the pair were very loudly whispering, as they did not even have the decency to make sure no one heard the verbal slime emanating from their mouths. How many baby daddies do you think she has? One asked. Can't even dress those kids for weather? The other remarked. Just wait until she whips out the food stamps, came the response. Lindsay acted natural, but her interest had been piqued. She gave her kids a mint, and she slyly caught a glimpse of the couple. Lindsay was listening to them while she faced forward, watching the mother pull clothes out to separate them from the food stamps. She was obviously struggling as her kids were all over the place. The next time the pair behind her spoke, Lindsay felt the skin on her neck crawl. There's our tax dollars neatly at work, they said, clearly referring to the food stamps the mother was trying to pull out and use at the counter. It should come as no surprise that Lindsay identified so much with the woman in front of her, as she could empathize with no less than nine kids of her own running around at home. After waiting patiently, making no sign that she had heard the people behind her, she finally turned around. She said she shot them what I can only imagine was the death glare only a mother of nine can execute to perfection but she wouldn't share her thought with the mean couple just yet. Lindsay came up to the struggling woman and looked her in her eyes. Can I help? She asked. The mother returned the gaze, but before Lindsay let her speak, she explained where she was coming from just a little bit better. Foster or adopted? Lindsay offered. I have nine kiddos, she said, adding that two of them were biological. That means she had gone through what the woman had, but seven times. Something eased up in the mother as she smiled with embarrassment at Lindsay, as seven children is a lot of new people to take under your wing. She was a new foster mom, she told Lindsay, and this is the first time she used food stamps. Generally speaking, those with the child in their care receive some sort of stipend to help cover the inevitable costs of having the child. But this was missing from the equation, the woman explained. They came three days ago, the mother said, gesturing to the children around her. They're gonna be with us for a while. They gave us food, but the kids needs clothes. No stipend has come through yet. Lindsay looked at the children's adorable faces and a smile crept up on her face. Beautiful children, she said, turning to the mother. 
I'm glad you all have each other. The feet of the couple abruptly shuffled behind them impatiently. The line needed to move forward, so Lindsay did what she could do to help the mother out. She could have just taken the food stamps from the woman and hastily swiped them, but she took the time instead to patiently show the mother how to use them. This way, she would have an easier time next time. Besides, Lindsay and the mother owed nothing to the couple waiting in the line for their turn to come up to the cashier. After making sure the food stamps were redeemed, Lindsay turned to the woman and embraced her in a gentle hug. You've got this, she whispered in her ear and released her. The mother looked and smiled, filled with a newfound confidence. She finished checking everything out and got her car ready to leave. Finally, she started walking away from the cashier and out of the door with her five children alongside her. Lindsay watched as the sliding doors closed behind them. The mother and five children were well out of the earshot at this point, and Lindsay finally turned around to face the couple. She didn't want the mother to hear what she had to say, so she held it inside. It had brewed for a long time, and when Lindsay felt it be released, tears began forming in her eyes. She looked at the well-dressed man and woman. She wrote in her Facebook post and started to speak. Those children, they lost the right to live with their parents just days ago, she said. Those clothes, probably the only clothes they own or gotta leave their home with. As the words formed in her mouth, Lindsay took note of the good-looking couple in their fancy clothes. It was a stark contrast to what she had seen when she had looked at the mother, who was taking care of the children who weren't even her own. Lindsay decided to tell them exactly what the woman was going through, as the smug couple was regarding her as a freeloader. That woman opened her home to kids, kids that needed a safe place to go, when the one they lived in no longer proved safe enough or secure enough for them, she said. The food stamps, something health and welfare helps an already mother to feed three new mouths. There are not nearly enough women or people like her in this world. The couple said nothing as Lindsay started placing her items on the conveyor belt, and the silence made her realize that she wasn't done telling the couples off for the nasty things they had said. Things started coming back to her. Like the disrespect, they showed joking about her baby daddies. She felt a storm brewing as she turned over everything they had said in her mind but this time she wouldn't let it stay inside for very long. And even if those kids were all hers, Lindsay added, glaring at the couple, and she had a dozen baby daddies and was on food stamps. No child in this country or any other deserves to be cold or hungry. I'm sorry, but your behavior, poorly done, very poorly done. Lindsay had said her piece, and the ball was now in the couple's court. After being admonished in a Walmart in front of other people, how would they respond? However, Lindsay was looking at them, it must have looked really scared because it discouraged any response whatsoever. The couple left my checkout aisle and joined another silently, she said. At around this point, Lindsay started to take account how worked up she was. The mean things the couple had to say about the mother really hit home, as Lindsay knew what it was like to be in her shoes. She never expected to fly off the handle like that. Now that she realized she was fuming, Lindsay set out calming herself down. She noticed the candies arranged in front of her at the cash register and as she described it, grabbed a bag of darn peanut butter M&Ms. She put them on the counter and looked at the cashier. A woman peered back at her. She could have started yelling at Lindsay for frightening away good, paying customers, but what Lindsay got instead was words of support and encouragement. As it turned out, the cashier watched the incident unfold in front of her and empathized completely with the plight of the mother. Single mother on WIC, she said gesturing herself. WIC refers to the special supplemental nutrition program for women, infants, and children. She continued, what you said, rocked. Lindsay, though, didn't feel so good after getting so upset. Thanks, she replied. I wasn't sure I should have gone off like that. Hug those babies of yours tonight. I will, came the response. You have a nice night, ma'am, and do the same. Lindsay walked out and made her way through the parking lot. All the while, she felt tears overwhelm her. By the time she found her Tahoe, she was visibly crying. She loaded up the car and secured her kid in the booster seat. Then she opened the M&Ms and spent a few minutes eating them before starting her car and setting off back home. As she began to calm herself, Lindsay was unable to stop thinking about the poor children who are out there right now without any parental support. Your foster mom is out there, she said, first addressing these kids, then she wrote to the foster parents telling them to hold your head high, you are the hands and heart that are the strong and the steady for the small ones when they need it the most. Hats off and so much love for you today. 
Lindsay couldn't have expected this post, which she dismissed as yet another rant at people in Walmart, having to gone as viral as it did. Currently, it has over 290,000 reactions and over 282,000 shares. People showed their support in the comments, remarking about how lacking the stipends are and how the food stamps are confusing to use. As for whether the rant was deserved, an overwhelming majority completely threw their support behind Lindsay. What do you think?